Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I appreciate you all taking the time here. I'm David Bettenhausen, co-founder and CEO at Aerotrax Technologies, where we're focused on supply chain visibility and analytics for customer-centric aviation aftermarket companies. And so what I'll do today is a little bit different, um, was tight on timelines, given that my flight was delayed and all the meetings were pushed back. So the presentation I built is more so focused on the biggest learning experience we've had over the course of 25 different product pivots, um, a lot of changes in the team, and also a couple rounds of investment that we've gone through here. So with that, I'll run through the three concepts that, that I'm going to be going over, which is one, vector alignment drives company progress. Two, functional teams drive alignment. And then three, operational debt kills growth opportunity. And this last piece is where we're focusing on as a company within the aviation aerospace industry. So I'll talk about the product there too. But this is a, an interesting quote that I've been digging into deeper and actually wrote a memo around uh, to our team and our investors recently where every person in your company is a vector and progress is really determined by the sum of all the vectors. And so this is a quote by Elon Musk, quote by Elon Musk that uh, Dharmesh Shah, by Dharmesh Shah, who's the chief growth officer and co-founder at HubSpot. And so he focuses a lot on different growth opportunities and concepts. And um, this quote is a little bit like the Michael Scott and the American office, much better. All right, thank you. Um, where I'm, I'm quoting somebody who's already quoting somebody. But the, the, the core of it is the same. And the credit really goes to Darmesh, who kind of created this. And so a vector is what has both magnitude and direction. And so when you think about a person and the impact they can have on a company, you can look to quantify that. And what we're looking at here in both direction and magnitude is a great person, great, great teammate. Nine out of 10, nobody's perfect, but this is as close as you can possibly get. And so when you go forward here into what we call the null vector, which is two different sort of sections going forward and company is being strayed in multiple directions, nobody can really get a grasp on what's happening. And so the total impact here is zero. Are we good on mic stuff? I guess not. Um, and then on the... In, in another world where suboptimal sort of team alignment is, is driving a, a lack of impact across organization. And when, when you see this, it's really a lack of strategy and cohesiveness across the team. But the ideal scenario is around vector full alignment. So this is where you have the maximum impact of the organization and all the people are driving in the same direction at the same time. And so within this, we have functional teams. And at Aerotrax, we have four functional teams. But an example of this would be a technology team where you've got the engineering, product, design. Um, and within that, you have people, you have processes, you have capabilities. These across the four, you have commercial as well, where it's business development, sales, marketing, customer success, uh, and operations. And so. When we view this, it's sort of a flywheel effect where technology drives commercial, commercial drives customer success, and the grease that keeps the flywheel going is operations. And at times, if you don't focus on the operations, so the HR, the legal, standardizing contracts, you'll begin to see breakdowns in customer success, in technology, and new product experiments, and then ultimately into the commercial and your pipeline. And so, what we've seen is this operational debt impedes growth opportunities. And we saw it with our own company, and we also saw it with our customers. And so with our customers, these are aviation, MRO, OEM companies. Um, and what we've seen in the supply chain as we look at where they're spending their time and their dollars, when they organize a, around uh, an M&A transaction, what is traditionally being rolled up are just the financials, whereas all the operations are left in their own element. And you've got legacy systems, different operating companies with different systems, different processes. Um, and then you add into the mix a constrained talent pipeline. And you have this hodgepodge of, of, of issues that arise to create this, this huge debt that has accrued over years. And so us as a company, what we have decided to focus on is pulling in data, organizing it into a simple supply chain operational infrastructure that gives you 360 degree awareness of your customers, 
your processes and your people um, so you can become a better, well-connected uh, organization. And so with us as a company, we've seen our challenges as we've pivoted across multiple different product verticals. Um, and now as we're focusing on helping companies support in the integration of the uh, transaction of net new companies that they bring under the fold, um, we see a, a really strong opportunity to provide a security first approach to modernizing this digital data infrastructure. And so what we'd really like to do is continue to help these aftermarket organizations. And so if you're working with any MROs or OEMs that are looking to grow in their aftermarket, please drop me a line and thank you very much. But I appreciate the time today.